All right, guys, welcome back. As promised, second video of the night with the 03 Silverado completed. Uh, this series began with a front end repair video, one and two, I believe. Uh, this bad boy is done. Um, the other video I did explain that it's actually got done at um, the shop that I work at, that I run. Um, just simply for time and space. <clears throat> I don't have it here right now. It turned out pretty good. There's a few things that honestly I would have done a little differently if I would have done it. But I can't complain. Um, you know, I gave the gave my guys basically a shit rust job and um, they made it look really nice so um, I'll show you the front end finished here basically we put a grill in it <clears throat> some lights some headlight mounting panels straightened the bumper a license plate bracket straightened the hood uh, this is no buff guys this is exactly the way it came out of our spray booth we are very very proud of the work that we do um, this fender had a big old gash, kind of a dent looking thing there. Of course, took the flare off. Fixed it. Okay, this door was completely caved in from where the deer hit it. And then it didn't fit on the top, and the moldings were all shot. It was kind of a bitch to straighten it. Um, for the guy who straightened it. <laughs> um... But it turned out pretty nice, considering what it looked like to begin with, and it is it does seal now. Um, did put new moldings all the way around the truck. This door handle is new, GM. Uh, this rear door was repaired. There was a dent somewhere in this area. A couple dings, a couple scratches, stone chips, etc. Uh, cab corners, cab corners and rockers replaced. Probably can't see that, but new cab corners and rockers. I'll show you the jams here. Sorry about that. Okay, there's jams, all painted. Deal. <clears throat> Door bottoms. Seam sealer is a little bit messy, but we kind of had to hide some rust pits and stuff. Uh, let's see this side here. Sorry about the shaky cam. Seam sealer isn't really the way I really love to do it, but it does work. And of course, everything is rust proofed. See, uh, remember from the last video on this truck, that door did not seal up there at all. It seals now, no problem. Um, of course, gave the truck a complete detail, including shampoo. Looks good. Alright, back here. The wheel flare was replaced with one the same color. There was a dent here. This did from this body line down. A uh, new tail lamp. That tail lamp had a hole in it. Let's go to the other side. Um, we did these whole cab corners. So basically from here forward on this side is all new paint. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I got kind of a frog in my throat here tonight. Alright, now this side was a little bit simpler. We just did the door bottoms from the body line down um, the doors inside and out new moldings and again let me get a light here let's see if we can maybe see this a little bit better here there we go new cab corners and rockers on this you know both sides um, these cab corners and rockers actually came off of a store on eBay, and I got to tell you, they're not as good as what I'd like them to be, but for the money, they were pretty decent. Uh, and also straightened the tailpipe, 
and install the new rubber hanger. Brush touched and polished the rest of it. What the hell this shit is? Well, some of that black shit. Clean that off of there. Uh, the truck looks really good. I'm happy with it. Um, okay, and then branching off from the uh, first video tonight, um, alternator is installed. I believe the issue is fixed. Um, as soon as I started up, she went right up to like 14 and a half, 15 volts. And uh, I turned everything on and she never dropped below 13 and a half. So I'm gonna drive it tomorrow, see what happens. Uh, replaced the blower motor resistor. Did not need the harness, it was not burnt. Thank goodness, but check this out. I'm going to show you the resistor and show you why these things burn up. And not just these resistors, the whole truck. This did not work on one through three. Only four and five worked, which is kind of a fail safe on these trucks, so you at least have. Um, defrost and stuff but I don't think I've ever quite seen one burnt like that before I may have replaced them but um, that's pretty neat so if anybody ever wonders why there's special coverage on these Silverados 10 years 100,000 miles on blower resistors this is why GM has special coverage on these so if you guys are seeing these in your shops the truck is less than 10 years old and less than 100,000 miles. This is considered a service bulletin, not necessarily a recall. But look at that. That's pretty scary. They've been driving around like this for probably a year or better like that. This thing could have lit up at any time. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overreacting. But um, that scares me a little bit. All right, I'll show you the alternator here a little bit. This was a very, very, very simple replacement. Um, it actually took me longer to put the resistor in than it replaced the alternator. Um, two bolts, one nut, one plug, and a serpentine belt, two hose clamps, actually one hose clamp, uh, and, a, and the plenum cover. Easy, 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 easy. And now when I spun this one on the bench, um, this alternator seemed very tight, you know, very quiet, very tight. Um, the core, when you'd spin it, it actually kind of, kind of sounded like metal on metal or kind of growled. And uh, the whole front of it was just all black. So I don't know if that was like carbon dust or, or the rest of the truck's pretty, you know, relatively not greasy. So I don't know where that would have come from, but it kind of had like a black oily gook. You can kind of see it on my fingers. So, whether or not that alternator was 100% at fault, I still think it needed to be replaced because I don't think it was going to be long for this world. The battery is my next suspect. If that condition does not go away, I'm going to have the battery tested. Um, or maybe just throw a battery in it. You know, these aren't, they don't carve, they don't stamp batteries anymore apparently, but I can't remember the last time I had a battery that was stamped. But, uh, but anyways. That's the truck, finished product, and uh, I'm I'm very satisfied with it. Um, like I said, I hope that they are too. But it is going back, you know, unless unless that <clears throat> unless that voltage condition uh, does not go away with a test drive tomorrow, uh, this thing is going to go away this weekend. So um, that's cool. That means that I can uh, possibly start seriously thinking about getting the HD in here. Um, so we'll see, I guess, you know. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I got to look back at the other video, but I don't know. I'm looking at this truck thinking this looks like a completely different truck. Oh, I know. There was one other thing, too. On the other side, I had some paintless dent repair done on the lower section of the box behind the wheel on the passenger side um, there was a dent there but 
the bedside wasn't nice enough to really justify repainting just that part. Because he does haul wood with this truck. You can see there's dents in that bedside yet, but where do you stop, guys? I mean, we could totally restore this truck. He's going to go take it out in the woods. In three months, he'll never know we did anything to it. So I had to draw the line somewhere. I didn't want to charge too much. I didn't want to, you know, just dump money in this thing. And But uh, I'm really happy with it. I, I think he will be too. Um, my sister-in-law is... She's already thrilled and she actually pulled in the driveway tonight and she thought I got a new truck. She didn't even recognize this vehicle that it was hers. So <laughs> that's always a good sign, I guess. But I'm very, very happy with it. I really hope I got that charging issue taken care of. Um, that kind of stuff drives me crazy because I'm, I'm not real good at it, guys. But I mean, if it's a simple alternator or battery, I can handle that. Um, but I'm gonna drive it tomorrow. Um, go take that core back and when I take the core back for the alternator I'm gonna have them test it just out of curiosity because if that alternator is actually good and they are able to put it under load and it passes I'm gonna put a battery in it I'm not even I'm just gonna get a battery I'm gonna put a battery in it and it's just gonna be the extra 125 bucks to put a battery in it and it's what else could it be I don't I don't know I mean I'm not a mechanic I I do this minor stuff here and there just you know, to save myself a few bucks and save my family members a few bucks. Uh, but really, guys, I <clears throat> I am not uh, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not gonna ever say I am. I'm a shade tree mechanic, like a lot of you guys. Um, let me show you that PDR spot here. Um, there was a dent. There's like a softball size dent right here. Um. There's dents up there too and stuff too, you can see them, but like I said, it is a wood hauler. So I'm not gonna get carried away. Um, you know, all the bed's all bent up and shit inside, but not terrible. So it was a busy day today. I actually worked late tonight. I worked late last night at the shop. Um, and tomorrow I'm actually going in to work. We're doing a special promotion at the shop that I work for, um, car sale, and uh, I'm going to put in some volunteer hours and just introduce myself to some new people and stuff. So I'm going to go work for a couple hours, and then um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It will depend on if this thing is fixed or not. If this is not actually fixed, I'm going to try and fix it. So... Um, wish me luck, I guess. And uh, thanks again for watching. I see you guys some new subscribers. Thank you guys for that. That's awesome. I'm gonna try, you know, and I always say this. I'm gonna try and get you more videos. Well, I am trying to get you more videos. Um, my garage looks like a disaster. Uh, it snowed another like four inches again today, just out of the blue. Um, so now we're ice covered and snow covered. Um, extremely sick of winter. But, you know, all we can do is complain about it. We can't control it. You guys all know that. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot worse off than we do here in Wisconsin. So, um, quit your bitching, right? All right. Well, um, if this truck is not repaired, I will be back with another video tomorrow. Otherwise, um, hope you guys uh, have a great weekend. And um, hope you like what you've seen tonight. Uh, no, I didn't bring you an install video on the alternator because there's a bazillion of them already on Craig, <laughs> Craigslist on YouTube um, to do alternators in these. They're real easy. Uh, resistors, that was kind of a shit job. Um, but uh, like I said, that took longer than the alternator, but I got it in and it works. I'm confident it's not going to start on fire now, so it's always a good thing. So, alright guys, until next time. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. See ya.